Hello and welcome. This is Lisa from Inner Wisdom Awakening. I'm here to talk to you today about why it is so important to be present for the 12 21 20 activation. And I'm giving you an invitation to join me live with a channel from the Light Council to help to anchor in these new frequencies and uh, support your ascension and your expansion into the highest calibration of light that is possible for you to hold, sustain, and maintain here on Earth. Woo, so much coming, so much happening. So I just want to start by... Um, explaining that we have been walking through a port through a doorway after doorway after doorway portal after portal after portal it's like there's all of these portals here's the next portal and the next portal and the next portal and it's all this crescendo culminating to this event that will happen in the winter solstice here on on this hemisphere summer solstice down under the solstice on the 21st is the grand event. It is the culmination and this is what is occurring. All of these steps have been in preparation to lead to this moment and the moments that are to come beyond. So there's a lot of talk out there about the end of the world and my heart just wants to say my connection to, the, to divinity is that in so many ways, this is the end of the world as you know it, as we have known it. And have we not watched the, the transformation that has occurred over this year of 2020? It has been like no other. And as we wrap up this year, it will not disappoint you. So this is a four year in numerology. It's all about the deconstruction of old foundations to construct new foundations, right? It's the, it's the, it's the washing away of the old and the ushering in of the new. We are here ushering in a new frequency, a new way of being, a new earth, and it begins with you. So here's a few things that are happening. We're birthing the new earth through us. It is a micro experience and expansion within our own physicality, within our own emotional, mental, spiritual beings, but has direct effect because we are not separate, right? We are part of this earth energy and she, Gaia, needs us in our sovereignty in our light frequency to support her in the elevation and the activation of her light frequency. We are expanding we are growing, we are transforming, and we're doing it in on the micro and on the macro because one is not exclusive of another, of the other. And this is what we are awakening to as we move into fifth dimensional consciousness. There are a few things that are happening that day. So the solstice is the is the return of the light. It is we it is the longest night of the year and the next day it brings forth that the days begin to get longer ushering in the return to the light this is significant beyond for this cycle because here we are as the event occurs on this solstice we are literally ushering in the light at the next highest elevational frequency to birth this new earth it is the great conjun conjunction, which occurs every 20 years. And this is the alignment between Jupiter and Saturn. It um, has been in the same in the same sign for so long and and now what is happening is it's going to meet um it's going to be at the same degree of the zodiac and it's going to meet at zero degrees. And this conjunction is representing like a change of an era. It's the change of the guards. That's what they want to say. It's the changing of the guards through in a completely new frequency. And there's some debate about when this event actually occurs, but many believe that on this day, the turnover into the age, the golden age of Aquarius. It's the door swinging open. Of course, it, there's a settling in period that will occur over the next four years, but this is really the ushering in, the gateway opening, the light activating to bring us into the alignment of the golden 
age of Aquarius. And the golden age of Aquarius shifts us. So we've been so focused over these last hundreds and hundreds of years on that Piscean energy, which is so much about um, you know, big government and success and working hard and and um, setting goals like achievement, achievement, achievement. And we're welcoming in this Aquarian energy, which is the innovator. It's the thinking out, out of the box. It's it's a great expansion. It's, it is um, moving into a greater expression um, and a lot more technology, um, a lot more expansion of, of technological influence. It's a lot about connection, it's about communion, it's about community, and it's about thinking outside of the box and, and raising up in a new frequency. And it, it's so met and matched by this fifth dimensional um, ushering in that we're going through, right? Because we are here becoming new humans and remembering at soul level who we are. So, um, we'll see so much more created on on online and in technology and and in greater communion and so much more created in the unseen than the seen world because that's what Aquarians do. <laughs> um, we get to celebrate diversity, forward thinking, creativity, technological advancements. Um, there's so much support for us technologically that as we're deconstructing, right, this four years, so much about the deconstruction of old foundations to create the new, stronger, more aligned foundations um, for ascension, for expressing ourselves differently here on planet Earth. So the numerology 12, 21, 10 brings us the number 10. 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2 comes to a number 10, just like the 12, 12, 20, 20 portal we just went through a few days ago. So th this number 10 in numerology is the number of new beginnings, right? The one is the beginning of everything. It is the starting point. It is the alpha. It is the it is the it is the culmination of the new and then the zero at least in my interpretation feels to me like being the universe at large it is the infinite whole of all of creation so you bring the one next to and like so i'd like to think of it as here's the one the beginning the new and here's the infinite ability of all creation summoning it forward right so the 10 is a potent potent number and that is what we will be celebrating that day so what do you do to optimize these frequencies attend the 12 21 golden age of aquarius light illumination that i will be hosting link is in the bio um, or above or below depending on where you're seeing this make sure you get in attendance and bring a friend we'll be guiding you through a light council journey to um to we've already activated all of the codes through the 1212 what we're going to do now is increase the light frequency coming down you're so prepared and now you get to elevate with the golden light frequency that will come through it's a cellular activation there will also be channeled guidance for you to hear from the light council what to expect what's coming where we are and where we're going um this is the final event of this year as far as the culmination of the light frequencies we do have a full moon coming up on the, uh, the end of, of December and that's simply to anchor the light that is already here it's to shine the amplification to anchor the light frequency in it is all a perfect beautiful plan that has been guiding us since since the solstice of 12 um, of, of 12 of 12 21 12 to this year this eight-year journey has really been to bring us into the culmination of this deconstruction for reconstruction so that we can really truly live out our soul's mission here sourced through source infinite in our love honored in our manifestation and our support it is moving from surviving to thriving because it is our soul's natural expression and there is no time like the present we are here we were made for this you are not alone join us on the 1221 and let's just do the crescendo to the whole next level 
I am sending love to your light. You are infinite. You are grace. You are God. You are good. You are the creators. And I'm honored to walk this journey with you. I love you. Happy creating.